Mwana Mwizi, a name that danced on the tongues of every villager in Tanzania, meant Moonlight Woman. Her beauty was like the Serengeti at dawn, breathtaking and vast. Men from neighboring villages trekked for days, just for a glimpse of her. But Mwana Mwizi held a terrible secret, a secret whispered on the wind at night. Her beauty wasn't hers alone, it was stolen. Mwana Mwizi lived in a small village nestled beneath the Yazambra Mountains. She wasn't always this way. She was once a normal girl, Amani, with laughter that echoed through the valleys and eyes that held the warmth of the Tanzanian sun. But Amani dreamt of being more. One night, under the glow of a full moon, she made a pact with a shadowy figure, a Jaluo spirit who promised her eternal beauty. The price? A piece of every man's youth she slept with. The first was Jabari, a young hunter known for his strength. After a passionate night, Jabari awoke to find his muscles stiff, his once vibrant black hair streaked with grey. A wave of horror washed over him as he saw the reflection of a wizened man in the nearby river. Panic seized the village as more men fell victim to Mwana Mwizi's touch. Handsome young men turned frail overnight, their vitality siphoned away. Fear turned to blame. Amani's own family cast her out. Grief gnawed at Mwana Mwizi, a far more terrible feeling than any stolen youth. She became a wanderer, her beauty a curse, a constant reminder of her broken pact. One night, lost and alone, she stumbled upon a dying fire in a clearing. An old woman, her face etched with wisdom lines, sat by the embers. The woman, a Maasai healer named Njeri, took Mwana Mwizi in. Mwana Mwizi, tears streaming down her face, confessed her terrible secret. Njeri listened patiently. In the crackling fire, Mwana Mwizi saw a flicker of hope. Njeri spoke of ancient rituals, of sacrifices and redemption. There was a way to break the curse, but it wouldn't be easy. The ritual required venturing into the heart of the Ngangoro crater, a place said to be guarded by spirits. Mwana Mwizi, no longer afraid, set out at dawn. The journey was fraught with danger, but Mwana Mwizi persevered, driven by a newfound hope. Finally, she reached the center, a place of strange beauty and an unsettling silence. As the full moon bathed the crater in its silvery light, a voice echoed from the rocks. The Jaluo spirit materialized, its form shifting and inconstant. Mwana Mwizi, her voice trembling but firm, declared her desire to break the curse. The spirit cackled, promising to release her only if she completed a near-impossible task to make the fire in the center of the crater burn for an entire night, fueled only by her tears of regret. The night stretched into an eternity. Tears welled up in Mwana Mwizi's eyes, not just for the stolen youth, but for her own foolishness and vanity. She wept for the life she had destroyed, the love she had pushed away. As dawn approached, the fire flickered, but it hadn't died. The spirit howled in defeat and vanished. Mwana Mwizi emerged from the crater a changed woman. Her beauty was no longer breathtaking, but it held a gentle kindness, a vulnerability that had been missing before. She returned to her village, not as Mwana Mwizi, but as Amani once more. The stolen youth never returned, but Amani found forgiveness. A love that wasn't based on stolen beauty, but on the strength of her spirit. Her story became a cautionary tale, a reminder that true beauty lies not in what we take, but in the kindness we share.